Welcome back. The Trevax OG 2.0 is the next generation of Trevax's original wallet that got them started in the wallet world. It's been in happy customers' pockets for some time now, but let's get into it ourselves. Trevax alternates between some of its packaging between the products. This one comes in a Ziploc plastic bag, so we'll dispense with that. We look at what we have here. Nice instructions on how to work this as all Trevax wallets require instructions. Honestly, they're designed that way, probably. And this is no different. So we'll take that and put it aside. We have a nice information card here. Tells us what we can get by way of uh, information. New gear, sales, marketing. Mark King, by the way, he's the founder of the company. And here is the wallet itself. So, it is a metal plate and paracord tethered together. And again, you know, the designs of Trevax just amaze me. They're really involved. And if you like that, it's great. But when they, when you get it all configured, they do function really, really well. And this one is no different. This one's a very popular model, not only because of its price, which is good, but because it functions well. So you can see that metal plate there, as well as the back. Talk about how this works a little bit more. This is a fun little wallet to get into. Now into the feature review of the Trevax OG 2.0. So we can see from the top plate here, we have an ID window located right here, which is nice. I still think you always have to remove your your ID, I rarely have it. I don't think I've ever had a chance where somebody said, sure, just leave it in your wallet and I'll look through your window. So we flip it over, we can see that uh, from the front into the back, we have paracord. And that is what is been threaded through, knitted through, sewn through, whatever you want to say. And it's what provides this top and base plate security. Now on the back side, of course, we have this little lip right here. And this lip is where this little grommet folds over and that's what holds into place all the contents. So cards go in here, undo that, cards go in here, that's where they're stored, and on the back we have a bottle opener here and a money clip. And so you fold your cash twice to get it in here, and overall the design is very simple. I think the most complex part of this comes down to jerry-rigging to you know, get a screwdriver or something to pull paracord from here through its really uh, tough pinch point so that you can actually loosen this up to the level that you desire for the card you want to put in there. And I already went ahead and did that because it, it took a little time, so we're well ahead of that. One thing to note is that uh, we also have a, a pry tool right here. If you want to get into pry things up, we also have an attachment point right here if you want to put a, a pickpocket tether or something. And of course, I said this was a, a uh, cash clip. It can also just be used as a clip, so you can put this on your pant pocket, just to have it on the inside of your pant pocket that way. A lot of different little things that are available to us here. And that is a quick review of the features of the Travex OG 2.0. Now onto the card and cash insertion test. Now really, you've got a lot of extra paracord here for adjustment. I think reasonable carry is uh, three cards, you know, to eight, right? And the company mentions it can handle up to 15 plus cash. I mean, I can see that, I don't, that's not a problem. From a quality perspective, it's designed and manufactured in the United States. Uh, this is made of aircraft grade aluminum, stainless steel and mil-spec paracord. Mil-spec, everybody likes to use mil-spec. It's not really anything important. The term just means that it meets military specification, which could be garbage. I mean, so don't think that mil spec means anything special. It's just thrown around for the kind of tactical thing. But anyway, comes in four colors and a G10 model, which is a high pressure fiberglass laminate, which is often used in knife handles. So it's, it's quite light. Now, being that this is paracord in it, you can customize this. So you can swap this out to where you can have different color paracord in here. Uh, if it wears out over time, I mean, this is completely replaceable. It's, it's really not a problem. And you can customize this. I, that's what I do like about it. 
Now it's $30, which is a great price for what you get. I, I think that's part of the popularity of this particular model is that the price on it is incredibly attractive. These scallops, these finger holds, you hold it like this. I, I mean, it's just a you know, little attention to detail and, and part of the design that uh, makes it stand out and it really is just a, a, a nice texture to it and uh, a visually appealing feature. Now the machining is done very well as uh, really there are no sharp edges, rough edges uh, to damage your clothing. Although if you do carry this with other items, they could get damaged because this is just metal. I mean, you just have to be smart about that with any kind of metal based wallet. And this is recommended in my mind as a front pocket wallet. Adjusting the paracord kind of is a pain, but uh, from the loop end right over here. But once you get there, it's not a, it's not a big deal. And you, depending on how many cards you carry, you're not gonna do that very often. Now it measures 4.13 by 2.63 by 0.48 or 0.5, and it weighs 68 grams. Again, metal, that's what we get here. Now with all Trayvax wallets, they provide a 65 year heirloom warranty. Every Trayvax wallet has a unique thought out design. Great ingenuity is part of this as well. No two are the same. Now if you've ever wondered how each Trayvax wallet compares to each other, they have this awesome graphic on their website right here, I'll show it to you and in their FAQ section. It's brilliant in demonstrating all the capabilities, materials, uh, features, those kinds of things between their product line. And they also have a nice community forum of the uh, off their main site if you have questions around anything regarding their wallets. Now this wallet is the second generation of their successful 1.0 wallet. That was the first wallet shipped by the company in their first Kickstarter. Yes, they too are a Kickstarter company. They sell wallets, everybody is who does that pretty much comes out of Kickstarter. So anyway, on to the final score. For quality of four, price of five, features of three, usability of three. If the paracord was easier to adjust, I think this would be well, this would be higher, but man, that paracord's a pain. And perception of four, that gives us a final score of 39 out of 50. Want to see all the rest of the rankings? I, I know you know where to go. It's just wallatopia.info slash rankings. We appreciate you being here. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.